Uh, Curtis Granderson plays on a much bigger stage as the all-star center fielder for the Yankees. This season, he hit 41 homers, drove in 119 runs to finish fourth in the American League's most valuable player vote. Some say he should have finished much higher in that vote. Uh, the Grandy Man is the son of two teachers. He's also a big supporter of education, and he's written a book called All You Can Be, Learning and Growing Through Sports. There it is. Got we it have right it here. here on set as well. Curtis Granderson, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? We're good. Really nice to have yeah. you with us. Oh, thanks for having me. So the book is kind of cool. So it's divided up into nine separate innings, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah. What, what, what's the chapters? idea? Yeah. Basically taking on the play of baseball. We have nine innings. We got nine chapters talking about the importance of your friends, family, education, setting goals, different things that we've all had to go through growing up that kids today are going to have to continue to go through as they grow up. And the main thing showing that I'm not much different than you. Mm -hmm. You know, all the different issues that you had to deal with, I had to deal with that let me get to this point where I am today. There's so much talk and there's always so much discussion, typically when there's some sort of a scandal about athletes as role models. But what a great thing, I think, for any parent to be able to show their child you as a role model who's saying, yeah, it's great. Look, I, I play baseball. I'm lucky. I'm, you know, you're, you're very good. You're an incredibly gifted athlete. But you are also, as you said, just like a lot of these other kids who are all growing up now and had to work at these things. Oh, so many different things. I mean, we all had to go through the peer pressures of choosing the right friends, staying in and out of trouble. And obviously, none of us are perfect, so we always had a little bit of trouble. But knowing what to do, what's right and wrong saying yes and no to certain situations to allow me the opportunity to continue to play sports and grow to be the person I am today. One thing I thought was cool was the illustrations, mm. which are from kids, right? Tell me yes. about those. Well, we first ended up doing it in Michigan where we had kids throughout the entire state of Michigan have this illustration contest, and we selected from all the major cities. Now being with the New York Yankees, we did all five boroughs, which is absolutely amazing, and the illustrations are great. I know I couldn't draw that well, so I'm <laughs> glad when they asked me that we were going to put these kids in there, I was like, great, because I couldn't do it. Wait, any, anything that stood out to you when you're looking at those illustrations? Because for children, that's such an important way for them to express themselves. I think it was a mixture of the age of the kids that were doing it, how well they did it, and some of the kids I met along the way that their confidence went through the roof, the fact that they were selected to be in the book, to know that, hey, I can do something well, and look how far my accomplishments go. Now I'm actually in a book. All I was doing was drawing something I love to do, and look how far I've gone. Who knows what else I can be, and therefore the title, All You Can Be. Your last inning says never be satisfied. What's your future? The future is bright and the bar stays high. And I've been here with the Yankees and I've awesome enjoyed season. it. And I'll thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'd love to continue to go on. I'm still missing a ring on this finger. Not a wedding <laughs> ring, championship <laughs> ring. So I'm looking to get that soon. This book was the first of hopefully a couple more to come. And it's been amazing to get a chance to be mentioned as an author. Someone said that to me yesterday. And that was one of the things I actually stood back and go, I actually am. Does that carry, carry more weight for you? It's than all the accolades you've seen in baseball? As of right now, yes, because yeah. there's so many people I know that want to be published and have books out. The fact that I actually have a book that someone wants to purchase and buy, absolutely amazing. And it's a great message. Education clearly important to you. Uh, what do you think was the most important lesson that you had growing up? I think the big thing um, across the board, obviously, is education. Probably the biggest accolade I mentioned is the fact that I've graduated from college. I'm one of about 28 players out of 750 Major League Baseball players with a college degree. That's an amazing number. It is. Yeah, it's a small, small number, but I'm very proud of it. I've played in a World Series. I've been drafted, but that's the one that no one can ever take away from me. So I'm excited and, and very prideful of the fact that I get a chance to do that. And now I just go out there and play and have fun doing it every day. Not a bad gig. You know, it's, it can be tough to be labeled a role model, I know, but boy, you are a fantastic role model for my kids and, and for so many others, so thank you. It's the sort of book you can pick up a 10-year-old kid who's not feeling too good about himself, and I think he reads that feels a little bit better. So, Curtis, thank you, buddy. Well, thank you very much. And we go all the way from 10 years old on the way up. Yeah. Yesterday, an older lady said that, hey, I even enjoyed reading the whole way through, so it was great. I enjoy reading it.